If I told you that we make movies, you might ask what genre? Horror, action, thriller, war. They'd all be accurate. Because we can see in real time how individual cancer cells spread within living tissue using high resolution microscopes with specially tuned lasers. And although there are effective treatments for primary breast cancer tumors, the last 20 years have seen very little progress in treatment for breast cancer after it has metastasized or spread to other organs. Metastasis can lead to organ failure and is the cause of most deaths among people with breast cancer. We're trying to change that because if we can see the agents, the double agents, the getaway route, the code book, and the escape hatch, we can wage a counterattack and we'll have a chance to win. First, we'll show you an animation that will make it easy to understand the movie shot in the lab. This is a primary breast cancer tumor. The purple fibers that support it were originally part of the normal grid system in our bodies, like collagen fibers in the skin. Some cancer cells dissociate from the other cells in the tumor and co-opt the collagen fibers to use as a highway. Meanwhile, immune cells called macrophages whose normal job is to search and destroy intruders, behave strangely in a cancerous environment. They act as double agents, sending signals that encourage the cancer cells to accelerate on the highway. When the cancer cells arrive at the blood vessel, they can only get in when a tumor cell and a macrophage conspire with a cell on the vessel to form what we call a TMAM, a portal for the cancer cells. Now, the cancer cells can travel freely through our blood and form new tumors. This is how metastasis kills people. Now, you'll see the movies we shot within a live mouse. These are breast cancer cells dissociating from the other cells in a primary tumor and heading towards a blood vessel. This 3D reconstruction shows a cancer cell and a macrophage positioned in close contact to form the TMUM portal or hole in the blood vessel, allowing tumor cells to pass through. This is the moment when the portal opens to allow the cancer cells to enter. The red explosion is blood squirting out of the vessel at the same moment as the tumor cells go in. All of those movies were done in living tissue, but in order to see what role each of the actors is playing, we created a crude blood vessel in a petri dish using the same kind of cells that vessels are made of. And the collagen highway, we made that too. When we placed tumor cells in the dish, they took the highway to the crude blood vessel. And remember the macrophages that are supposed to kill intruders? Watch what happens when macrophages and yeast cells are put together in a petri dish. Job well done. But when we added the macrophages in the presence of cancer cells, they played their double agent role. Instead of killing the tumor cells, they sent signals so that even cells that were very far away were able to easily find their way to the crude blood vessel, just like in living tissue. Each person in our lab collects intelligence on which tumors are likely to spread and how they do it, in the hope that we and other researchers will be able to develop drugs to intercept communications, shut the portal, block the highway, and complete kill missions to improve the prognosis for people with breast cancer.